Uh, right now we're going to do a product demonstration on what's called the ice and water shield. Ice and water shield is a very important component of any roof system. I do recommend putting it on every roof regardless of where you are, um, especially in Colorado. Um, we get a lot of ice build up on the eaves of the roof, the perimeters of the roof, and this helps protect uh, damage from ice and snow build up on the eaves where you have your, your wood trim. So uh, when you have like damage on your wood trim, oftentimes it's because there's no ice and water shield on those perimeters. So one thing that this does is um, it's a very heavy duty uh, membrane. So as you can see here, this has a granulated surface, which is, and it's also adheres on the back side here to the, to the wood roof. Once this goes on, it's not coming off. <laughs> it's extremely strong. So this is in contrast to the synthetic felt. So this is synthetic felt. Whenever you get a roof system, it's important that you get like a system. These materials are made by the same manufacturer, Malarkey. So they're designed to be compatible with each other. A lot of roofing contractors, unfortunately, will just do like a mix and match of different shingles and different uh, components of the roof. So some people will use like a underlayment that is not, you know, the, the shingle brand. And, uh, you know, I don't, I don't recommend that. Um, I do recommend always doing a roof system that is a system that goes together, made by the same manufacturer. So, just gonna kinda... so you can see the difference between this underlayment. This is actually a very high quality underlayment. It doesn't tear. It's really hard to tear it. This is what goes on the, where the, to block snow and ice. The thing about this underlayment is that it's, it's rubberized. So when a nail goes in here, it, it adheres around the nail. So it makes it so that it's less likely to, uh, water and snow is less likely to penetrate this material in here. This goes a little bit higher. So this kind of gets installed on the lower part of the roof around the eaves. And this gets installed on the upper level. It kind of overlaps about four inches over the ice and water shield. So that's kind of what goes underneath the shingles. And this is, in my opinion, about as high as quality underlayment roof system that you can get. Um, some areas in the mountains, we might put ice and water on the whole roof. Um, but, you know, uh, with most homes down in the city, um, we'll put one layer of ice and water shield and the rest uh, the synthetic underlayment. So one thing is that when you're, get, when you're shopping for a roof, you know, you, I would highly recommend that you make sure that you are getting ice and water shield. Um, we install it with, with our roof systems and whether it's required or not, we do with every single roof, um, uh, as well as a synthetic underlayment. But a lot, of, a lot of people don't do that and you just do all synthetic underlayment. And I do think that you could have issues with that, especially in Colorado. So I would just strongly encourage you to make sure you're getting that ice and water shield, make sure you're getting that synthetic underlayment. And um, you know, you should, that should make for a really good roof system. So now we're gonna do a product demonstration on underlayment. This is synthetic underlayment. Uh, this underlayment is uh, different than your tar felt underlayment. Um, tar felt underlayment used to be used a lot, and, but it's kind of like gone, starting to kind of circulate out of, 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 of being used now and everything's kind of going to synthetic underlayment. This uh, Secure Start Plus by Malarkey, in my opinion, is the highest quality underlayment that is available in the market. And so um, when you install it together with all of the other components, it allows you to get a, um, an extended warranty from Malarkey. So we offer that to all of our customers. And I think uh, you know, when you're shopping around for a roof, you might wanna look at that and make sure that you're getting one as well. So the thing about this underlayment is that it is very strong. So when you're installing it, it's tough to tear it. You really have to, you know, I mean, I'm really using some strength here. I can't really tear it. It also allows you to, on a steep roof, it's, it's kind of got like a felt, a textured uh, surface here so that you can walk on it. It's pretty not, it's not very slippery. It's more safe at least than uh, your tar felt underlayment. So that's really important um, in my opinion. Uh, this underlayment comes in a thousand square foot rolls. You can you know, carry it up and down a roof like a lot easier than you can with the tar felt underlayment. The tar felt underlayment comes in 200 square foot rolls. 
So we can do, you know, with two rolls of this, we can do, you know, an average size roof, whereas we're going to need five rolls of the other kind. And they're also a lot, lot larger, bulkier, heavier. So I just would encourage you that, you know, when you're getting a new roof shopping around, make sure you're kind of getting the synthetic underlayment. Um, I think that's going to be very important. So thank you for tuning in and uh, we'll see you on the next video.